Adventure Time is about Jake the dog and Finn the human. Finn is a spunky 12-year-old who likes math and screaming, and every girl in the land wants to smooch him, even this creepy grandma elephant. Eventually, he grows into a strapping young man with unchecked emotions and a restraining order. Jake is a doughy layabout who teaches Finn to bottle up his feelings and spend all his time partying instead of becoming a better person. He can stretch and shapeshift into any size or form except for a good role model. Together, they're codependent. They quest for the sake of Princess Bobo, -bo, the leader of the Candy Kingdom, who often clones and murders her own subjects. Watch as she causes the conflict in a third of the episodes, and then Jake causes the conflict in the rest of them. Oh, and ice cream is there too, I guess. Follow their wacky adventures, filled with the kind of randomness you thought was funny back when you still used the XD emoticon. Featuring radical lingo, schmauzow, algebraic, slam a cow, that dude looks rough. Wow, that sounds really hip and not at all awkward and stupid. Hey there, network executive. You worried that sick lingo isn't enough to attract the kids and the stoners? Fret not, because Adventure Time's got you covered with gross-out humor, featuring plenty of farts and sometimes vomit. Animated, on-screen, just visible, coming out of a mouth vomit. Not funny, never funny, always gross, stop it. Watch as the show goes from a series of episodes with no conclusions to a series of character arcs with no conclusions. Hey! How do we write endings? Uh, just eat some glue and write down whatever you see. I don't see anything. That's fine. At the end of every season, we get to hear about the snitch, a scary bad guy who spends five seasons frozen in syrup. Ooh, spooky. You still on board? Well, you won't be when we get to the romantic subplots. Watch as Finn rebounds off a war crime grime onto a literal flame demon who then dumps him for being too creepy. The best episodes are the ones without Finn and Jake in them. Follow Marceline, Ice Cream, Beepo, and the rest of the tertiary cast in one-off adventures that are way more interesting than anything we're supposed to care about as Rebecca Sugar tries her best to give this show any redeeming qualities. So, how should we resolve Finn losing his arm? You know, I've been thinking, maybe we shouldn't resolve it. It's not an arc. It's part of him now. It's something he has to deal with. Something that Finn's lost and he's never getting back. It's something that'll always remind him of his father who left him and took that part of him away. Finn can't change that. Nothing can change that. He just... He just has to live with it. He has to grow and move on. Maybe we all do. Wait, I've got it. He meets a bee who wants to bang his arm and then he honey ejaculates a new one. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> mathy, mathy, math. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thanks to our first ever guest artist, my good buddy Dane. He did an amazing job. Just look at this, look at this. He drew all of this. Look how good that is. You should check out the links to all his cool artwork in the description, and if you want to support the show, you should check out some cool anime at Crunchyroll.com. Use my link to get 30 days of free anime. Professional subtitles, no advertisements, all HD. Look at that, there's no downsides. Today, I recommend checking out Durarara. It's an anime about a mysterious headless biker made of shadow in the city of Tokyo. It also features flying vending machines and a rush guy who sells sushi. Go check it out. Bye!